Hello! I am completely jazzed and excited. I am going to try to do this in a one-take wonder fashion because that's kind of the way these roll best for me. I wanted to let you know about a, an article, a blog post that a good friend of mine, Kimberly Goodrich and I put together talking about some of the promises and the expectations that people have when either they or the people that they love get into recovery. There are just so many myths about recovery and we wanted to begin to not only bust those myths, but we really wanted to be able to provide education for everyone. Um, not everybody gets an opportunity or desires to go to an inpatient facility for rehab. Inpatient facilities do a great job of providing the education about the background of not only what substance use and abuse is doing to the brain and the body, but what it's doing to the family system as a whole. So our thought was to bring that education piece to you in a very different kind of a setting without needing to go inpatient if you choose not to, or getting you ready to go inpatient, or getting you ready if somebody you know is already inpatient or in treatment and what to expect. One of the first myths that we want to really dive into and bust is this idea that somebody is going to stop drinking or stop using because they love you. If they just loved me enough that they would stop. Or their using clearly indicates that they don't care about me, don't care about my feelings. That couldn't be further from the truth. The reality of it is that this problem, which we do call a disease, and I know that that rankles some people, so we're going to move along from that. This problem is not something that willpower alone can solve. It just doesn't work that way. It, it can't. And expecting it to be so is setting yourself up for disappointment. So we really wanted to put that out there, that it's not about whether or not somebody loves you enough to stop or whether or not you love somebody enough to change your behaviors. It's a much more complex issue. And the sooner we can wrap our brains around that, the sooner the rest of this becomes easier to understand. Interested in learning more? You'll find a place where you can give us your email address. And as soon as we open the doors to what we're pre preparing to offer you, you'll be one of the first people to know. So, and I promise, no obligation. We're not going to try to, you know, send you 75 different things. Um, if you're interested in learning more, sign up. We'd love to have you. Okay, on that note, I wish you the very best for your day. Bye.